Hi everyone, welcome to the Twitter Spaces with myself, Joshua De Silva. Hello, good day everyone. Hello, good day Joshua, how are you? Good man, things are good. How are things with you? I'm good. A long time supporter of you since you debuted. Thank you. I just want to say congrats on that 100 versus England. I thought that was a good one. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Okay. I don't really have a question for the for you this morning, but just a mm-hmm. word of advice for you and the team. Mm-hmm. I noticed every time you guys face 50 to 100 balls, you guys go around 35 to 50 runs. So if you guys can focus on that in this upcoming series and keep on going every 50 balls, every 100 balls, that would be good for you and for the team. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Will do. I'll pass on the message. All right. Thank you. Right. Can Thanks. you hear me? Yes, you can hear yes, you now. Yes, go ahead, direct hit. Hey. So, what's your, uh, who is your role model in test cricket and what's your upcoming plans? Uh, well, my role model in, in test cricket would be, um, I watched Australia a lot growing up, but um, locally, of course, it would be Brian Lara, um, Ramnu Sawan, um, Dennis Ramden with the gloves. He was excellent and, and still is. So, um, But uh, internationally, I would say Shane Watson, the way he batted and and he showed his way, the hundreds he scored and, and whatnot. He, he definitely stood out to me personally. Uh uh, sorry, being an Indian, I just want to be like little selfish. So if you can name some Indian players in test, uh, test cricket, like you would like to uh, take it as a role model or something. Sure. Uh, MS Dhoni, his, his glove work and his finishing skills. I wish I could finish like him. Uh, and of course, the, the little master in Sachin Tendulka. Um, amazing at his craft and he, the way he grafted all of his innings was, was exceptional. So definitely try to take a few pages from each of their books and, and add it to my game. I see that we have Jaden Seals in the chat. <laughs> Jaden, we're trying to get you to come up and speak. Come on, Jaden. <laughs> Robert Williams I see, from Iria FM. I see him in the chat as well. Robert, I'm in, I've, in, I've invited you to come and speak. Hopefully, you have a question or two for Joshua. Okay. Jaden. Good day, Jaden Seals. How are you doing, man? I'm good, and you? Very good, man. Missing you so much. <laughs> Missing you too. Yeah, I have nobody to go to breakfast, Ooh. lunch, and dinner with, man. Mm. And nobody to beat in FIFA every day. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. If you say so. <laughs> Let's play any handball right now. A good German Blackwood has gone two in a row. Back to back. That's expected. Early, That's expected. early, early front runner for MVP. <laughs> Moss, Moss <laughs> 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 Remember Shannon on the tour too, so. Hey, Shannon, play good today, boy. <laughs> he, he dodged a new yesterday, though. They have two content, no, three contenders now. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not here, so it would have been four. Well, no, if Jay don't say there'd be no contenders. <laughs> Just <Jayden>. Dario. <laughs> Dario, I went a whole series without it. Eh? I got one man in my last series. You only didn't get it because you were on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone else wants to come up and speak to Joshua, feel free. Um, we'll accept a few, a few requests now. Just have a few connecting. It's Shah. We have... You, you can unmute and, and ask. Nice to meet you, sir. I have a two question for you. And I said, please, if you want to ask, uh, if you want to give me answer. Sir, first of all, what's your experience in, I am from Pakistan, and what's your mm-hmm. experience in test cricket now? Well, my experiences so far has been, it's been great. I've had some, some very good experiences, but also some low ones, which has, has helped me. Um, to, to kind of shape into the player I am today. Um, we can't always have success in cricket. It's, it's a game of, of unforgiving uh, moments, and there's a lot of forgiving moments. So it's just about taking the good with the bad and trying to, to make those, those good times last as long as possible. Uh, but the experiences have been great. I've played a majority of the test play nations so far. Well, this just Zimbabwe and India. And we're in Zimbabwe now, so that'll take off another one off the list. And and yeah, then hopefully in in the summer I get to play against India and and complete the circle. 
and uh, i have a next uh, second question for you mm-hmm. so that's great and i have a question now for a uh, white ball format uh, how would you rank pakistan super league uh, so do you have any answer about it yeah it's a it's a very good league i've watched it for the for the last couple of years or even longer and um, we've seen some great talents from the west indies go over there and darren sami um a few of the other boys um, also go over and do really well and then they come back and give us their experiences which is always good good to hear about um it's always good things so they really enjoy it and hopefully one day i can i can get over there and, and play in the psl so uh, thank you very much mr joshua de silva and uh, so thank you very much thank you ma'am nankesh Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, how is your day going on, Zimbabwe? It's going good, man. Just finished training and going to get some rest and, and get ready for a practice game tomorrow. I'm uh what's your uh, what's your target and what's your uh, uh what's your planning for the uh for the uh top scoring or uh, highest dismissal by wicket keeping? Now, uh, what I can do is I can just play my game and and prepare prepare for each inning and and when that opportunity comes try and score as many runs as i can um obviously yeah the aim is to be number 1 in 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 each um of my roles um but those things come with a lot of a lot of um training and a lot of um sacrifice in the middle and just giving giving it my all so my goal is just to, to bat as long as i can take all the catches that come for me and yeah that's the that's the best i can do Yeah, thank you, Joshua, for reclaiming me. I'm having just uh, one more question, Alum. Let me oh. say to you. Yep. Yeah. What's the reason uh, you had been uh, migrated from Portugal to Trinidad? I I was born in Trinidad. Uh, my grandparents actually were the ones that moved to to Trinidad. So I was I was born and raised. My dad was born and raised, and and my mum was from Canada. So um, yeah, I, I didn't have a choice. Okay, uh, my mom. Let me have one more question, please. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, what's your speech on? Uh, uh, I'm from New Zealand. Uh, what's your speech? Uh, uh, what's your speech on uh, Black Caps? Oh, really good, really good team in all formats. They they show their worth and they have a lot of good players and a lot of good blokes as well. Um, they all they play hard on the field and and then they're really cool off the field. So um, yeah, a very good team and even better guys. If you can, can you please my Twitter account, please, Joshua? What's that? If you can. What's that? What? What can? What do you want me to do? Please, can you follow my Twitter account? Uh, I'll see, man. I'll see. I don't. I don't really use Twitter, so I'll see. Yeah, I have been uh, followed your Twitter account. Okay. All right. Nice one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, Nankesh. We'll try to get him to follow you. Thank you. Uh, just, 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 please, last chance. Uh, let me have uh, another question on you. <laughs> sure, go ahead quickly. Other people are waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. What? Uh, who is your favorite player in uh, Black Caps? Favorite player, um, Glenn Phillips. Yeah, thanks. I am really pleased to speak with you. I am really blessed. Thank you, Joshua, for replying. Thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Joshua. I'm I'm really pleased. Thanks. Hey Josh, can you hear me? I can. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um Josh, um what are your plans for the ODI World Cup? Are you going to play for the ODI World Cup? What what are your plans for the upcoming World Cup? I would love to. Um the, the best I can do is 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 hope that that they give me the opportunity. I haven't played much white ball cricket over the last couple of years because there's so much test cricket. Um but yeah, once given the opportunity, I would love to and hopefully Jade and Seals can um give me a get, put in a good word for me and and get me any team. <laughs> okay, good luck. Good luck on Thank that. You. Cheers. One question to one question. Yes, Jiren. How can I put in a good word for you and I'm not even in the setup right now? <laughs> big one, big one. You are massive. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> We're inviting uh, some more um, some more guests to speak. Uh, what's this? What's this one? Um, at Midwicket. Hi, bro. Hope you are doing well. My question. Good is, uh, uh, my question is about franchise cricket. Like uh, uh-huh. different. Different West Indies star play franchise cricket around the world. So, what yeah. are your thoughts on? Is it really helping West Indies or damaging West Indies cricket? I don't have any any comments on that. Um, it's I think it's a good thing. The boys are getting experience and and mixing shoulders with with a bunch of um, international players, and that could only help us when they bring back the the experienced stuff. But that, that's all I have to comment on that. Can I can I ask one more question, please? Sure. Uh, how difficult is in t- today uh, to play Test cricket? Like you play one format Test cricket, so is it really difficult? Yeah, of course, because we we only play six Test matches this year, so it's not a lot of cricket, and it's not a lot of opportunity to. to if you you don't start too well, it's not it's not a lot to to get back. Into into the group. So after four or five matches, you only have one more left, and it's not the greatest, most ideal thing. So, but for me, it's just about starting well, and using each of each opportunity to my benefit and try my best. Thank you, sir. Thank no, you. No worries, man. Rashid or Akib? Rashid. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you so much for giving me mic again. I am from Pakistan, Joshua. Hey, and always uh, a big fan of uh, uh, West Indian cricketer uh, like Pollard, Semi, Andre, mm-hmm. and you also. Uh, can I ask uh, some questions for you? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I talking about uh, franchise cricket. Uh, how you uh, admire? Uh, uh between ipl and psl i hope you your mate can uh, talking with you that uh, psl and uh, i love both both are, are goals of mine to get into um the psl uh, from what i've heard from all of my teammates and the guys who have went over it's a really good league and the competition is very high and then of course ipl is is probably is one of the biggest stages um, in T20 cricket in the world. So um, both leagues have their own their own benefits in their own rights, and they're both really good leagues. Oh man, thank you. And uh, what's your next plan? I mean, uh, you play only Test cricket for West Indies, ah. and uh, are you are you admire uh, yourself to ODIs also? Of course, would love to play all formats. Um, but as of right now, just playing red ball cricket and trying my best. Going to try and adapt my game and want to give an opportunity to play white ball cricket. Try my best in in those games and, and hopefully score runs to to open the eyes of of the selectors and and, and push my way into the team. Yeah. Uh, I wish you can also play with uh, Robman here uh, for our favorite franchise Peshawar Zalmi. I am a big fan of uh, Zalmi uh, still season one because of Darren Semi. He is only our season Pakistani. We love him so much. <laughs> nice man. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah, I love it. Ninety-nine uh, percent of Pakistani are supporting uh, Zalmi for only Darren. Nice man. Because of his love and his. Uh, appreciate i we all appreciate his uh, all work uh, in difficult time for coming back international cricket in pakistan nice man thanks for your time thank you so much direct hit we see you back you must mean that you have something to say Hey Joshua, hey Jaren, hey, this is uh, directed again. Uh-huh. I see some questions has been posted, so I thought of asking you. Maybe someone was not uh, feel good to talk, so they posted some questions. So can I ask them? Sure. Yeah. Uh, one person asked like, uh, 
can you remember this series against sri lanka how hard is to bat against sri lankan spin bowling unit they were really really challenging um in sri lanka especially in their conditions it's it's really difficult to it's really difficult to to adapt um but it's not it's not uh, impossible as you can so we we had a bit of a fight border and myself we had a, a nice partnership i think it was 99 runs or something like that i couldn't can't remember exactly but um sri lanka a lovely place the outfield is quick but yeah a, a difficult wicket to bat on and i'm guessing it's the same in india um hopefully one day i get to to play some test cricket there and, and see what it's like great so the other question is like uh... Uh, your favorite dish and best restaurant in Trinidad. Maybe you don't need to mention the best restaurant. Maybe <laughs> your favorite dish. Uh, my favorite dish in Trinidad. That's what you asked. All right, perfect. The last question is like, who is your favorite wicket keeper in uh, West Indies uh, cricket? My f- my favorite wicket keeper from uh, West Indies would be uh, Dinesh Ramdin. Uh, Dinesh Ramde, nice. Thank you for giving me opportunity again. Hope you'll play for uh, IPL in your one of the franchises soon. All the best. Thanks, man. Amit, you you on the floor? Amit hi hi man yeah i might yeah so hi jashko so my question is regarding odi cricket mm-hmm. uh, so i think there is a argument going on that one days are too long and people don't watch it but i think it the media is forcing us to believe that that it is too long and I, my question is that do the players also feel the same that it's been going too long the yeah. length of odi cricket personally for me i don't think so it's a, it's one of the, the the formats that it it changes so quickly the momentum it's one day and a result is needed in one day of cricket so it changes momentum so often that it's an exciting game and if you're not strategic in in your planning and and your approach towards the inning it could um, all fall apart pretty quickly or it can go really well so yeah for me it's a really exciting format and um, i definitely wouldn't want to see it go because i love playing odis yeah because i feel also same i think people are also uh, the commentators are also uh, going and speaking that it's too long and all so i think the players also players also feel the same or wrong or is it different like they also want odi cricket to be cut down well i can only really talk from my experience um i haven't heard much much else from what i'm saying in in the west indies camp a lot of the boys are really excited to play play the ODI cricket but but yeah um it's definitely a long format but it's it's only one day of cricket so um i don't see it going anywhere yeah yeah as a fan you can also tune in and tune out as a, how as whatever you want like you don't have to watch 8 hours you can watch it for 2 3 hours exactly. i feel it's okay right hey yeah, also i have a question uh-huh. uh who, which time says you do, do you support in ipl uh mumbai Who's? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mine also same. <laughs> nice one. Thanks for your time again. Thank you. Hi, Usman. How are you, Joshua? Doing very good. Thank you. I am from Pakistan. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, what are your thoughts about Pakistanis and Pakistani cricketers? Uh, they're very good cricketers. Um, I love playing against each and every one of them. um when they came to the caribbean we played two tests um in jamaica and it was a really good experience and then to to rub shoulders with the likes of baba azam and mohammed rizwan was was really an unforgettable experience and uh, uh, thank you for replying uh, what are uh, your next plans uh, my next plans are uh, to play against zimbabwe and south africa and then after that we have some first class cricket going on back home and then Um, yeah hopefully there's there's cpl and and some white ball cricket in the future thank you sir big fan thank, thank you man. thank you kane williamson you have the floor hi hi joshua hi kane how are you doing good 
big fan of your batting but uh, 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 one question uh, why do you bat so down the order you might you might come top of your up to 5 or number 6 uh, you are batting two down number 7 like that so is it because of teams uh, teams requirement or uh, you you personally wanted to bat there no well, as as you can you can see we have a, a quite a strong um, lineup on, on paper so um for me to get in any higher um ahead of jason dapper um kyle and those guys it, it's it's pretty difficult so ideally for me i wouldn't like to bat solo but uh, whatever the team requires you know i'm always up for the challenge and i scored 100 batting at eight so um it wasn't that bad after all yeah but uh, i think it would be better. it could be good if you bat some top, top of the order because uh, tail can't resist for so long right big fan of your work bro thank you uh uh when did you play when will you play new zealand tour I mean, test tour one day or t20 i'm not sure when when we play new zealand again um the future tours uh, did you uh, uh, did you play any time i mean i played uh, against previous, i made my test tour. debut against new zealand in december 2020 um in new zealand oh yeah how was how was working with uh, ken williams and means how was how, how was he uh, unfortunately he he was not in the game that i played he I either got injured or rested the second test match after scoring a double hundred in the first test match. So, um, yeah, for me, okay. I wasn't able. Yeah, to... he scored some two fifty one or two thirty eight something, right? Two fifty one against West Indies. I, I stopped watching that match. He scored you... too many runs. I stopped watching, man. Oh, I think he scored two fifty one against West Indies first test. Okay, okay, I remember. I remember. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks for your time. All the best for your future thanks, matches. Man. Yes, I can hear you, Josh. Uh, uh, thank you for letting me speak. I just wanted to. Uh-huh. Um, I was really excited here in Australia. Um, for wanted to ask you, found the experience in Australia. In Australia, it was a really good experience. Um, the results didn't go in our favor, but just just to play in those conditions was. was an eye opener for me and and I really enjoyed it um, especially to watch Steve Smith and Manus and and Mitchell Stark and the likes of those guys um, operate and and see how they go about and just take little things that I could learn from them um yeah that really helped me and and was a tour that it was going to make me progress even more in in my career yeah I think I think West Indies really yeah, this time around would have been learning experience Uh, what would you say that picked up batting from this and what you felt you could you're breaking up a bit but what i could what, what i could have heard was well, what what the, could i take away from the batting is that correct take away for you thing right okay for me looking at looking at the the Aussies go about their game they they left the ball really well and and they took the not just took their time but they they waited until that they felt like they were set and those those are some things that maybe I could I could take take a few pointers from and and adapt my game and really um put forward and and, and be a little more patient early on in my inning uh, uh that's all I want. thank you mr lover you have another question. Hey, me again Josh. I have a question after hearing the fans about the franchise league. I would like to know if you think that this should be a red ball franchise league around the world. Um, I'm not I'm not too sure how that would work. It it it's probably too long of a, a format to, to have a franchise league. Um, the, it will go on forever. Um, so instead of a one month, two month tournament, it might go on for four or five months. Um, it, I guess it'll be a bit like the Premier League in in England, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure how how it'll work and how it'll get get through the year with all the international cricket are um, playing. Okay, and another thing, do you think CWI could open up an avenue to have teams like Ireland, Netherlands come and play some first class games with you guys or? maybe one or two test matches um i can't answer that for them unfortunately um but yeah i guess it's it's it would be a good opportunity for them and us also to play against um international 
teams. Um, but yeah, that's up to them, and I wouldn't be able to answer for them. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, man. Mr. John Phillips. Good day, Mr. John Phillips. How are you? Come on, mate. How is, how's the golf going? I'm going well. Um, Joshua, massive fan. I've seen every single one of your matches. Um, I, know, I don't want to take your time up because I know you guys have been going on for over 30 minutes. So I just want to ask a quick one. Um, what do you do in your spare time when you are playing cricket? Like, what are your hobbies? Uh, I like to play golf uh, when I'm on the road. But when I'm home, I'm a big fan of fishing and going down the islands on the boat and just spending time with my family. So, yeah, but um, I'd like to be uh, as good of a golfer as you are. But um, it's a work in progress, man. Uh, best of luck, man. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Professor? How are you, Professor? I'm fine, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Sure, ma'am. I have some uh, two or three questions. Okay. First, who was your uh, childhood role model as a wicketkeeper? Mm -hmm. And the first one, well, my, I'll answer that one, and then, well, you can go on. Okay. My childhood uh, um, wicketkeeper that I looked up to would be Brad Haddon, Dennis Ramden, uh, MS Dhoni of late. Um, just growing up and then actually starting to watch more international cricket and not just West Indies. So, yeah, those three probably looked up to the most. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, second question is, uh, it's India versus New Zealand T20 right now. So, who do you think is going to win this match? Well, it'll be a tight contest. Um, it'll, be, it'll really be a close one. Um, but, yeah, I just hope that good cricket players and, and the, best, the better team on the day comes out on top. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining. It was really, really fun for me and, and enjoyed talking to you guys. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. Um, I'm sure CWI will do a few more of these and get some other players on. Um, it was really interactive. And, and yeah, next time we can, we can get some funny questions in there. All right. So thanks a lot for joining and hope you guys have a good day.